Hello and welcome to FPS Coach. My name is Ron Rambo Kim and in this video I want to shine some light on a common gaming pain or discomfort that's happening to computer PC game users. So gamers that use the mouse and this particular pain and discomfort actually started happening to me several years into my playing career and although I was playing really well in a particular gaming position I had to switch from it because it was causing a lot of stress and pain. And it's happening to this right shoulder area. So whichever arm or shoulder that you use to control the mouse, it's this whole right side, the rear shoulder blade, the neck, the front shoulder, this huge region here, I started feeling tingling and burning sensations because I was causing so much stress to it. And some of you guys have actually messaged me saying that you guys are feeling the same um, discomfort as well. So putting some things together, is now I know it's definitely happening because of the aiming arm and the rotation and the stress it's causing. So let me switch to side camera view and show you why it's happening to me in particular and why, you think, why I think it's happening from a gaming perspective. And then later on in the video, I'm gonna introduce Matt. He's a certified physical therapist. He works with esports professional organizations. And then he's gonna explain why it's happening um, in a professional manner. So one that knows what he's talking about in this field and also share some exercises and stretches to help you guys relieve and prevent this pain or discomfort. All right, so the reason why I think this happens or the gaming positions that I primarily see uh, with people that it's affecting look something like this. It's usually with people that have a right shoulder forward like this and it's kind of instead of the natural hanging down position it's leaning forward and it's like popping out of the socket so p gamers that have like a flared out right elbow or a higher right elbow the right shoulder is actually forward like this instead of just like a natural hanging down position like this right this is an anatomically healthier so gamers that have more of their arm on the table maybe some f uh, counterclockwise chest rotation like this right uh, so and also with people that have higher tables. So let me just raise this here. So people that have higher tables, again, um, I've mentioned this in my other videos, but it's worth mentioning here is as the table's higher, the right shoulder also lifts up. And what, the, what happens here is that your forearm, now when your forearm's on the table, you're also applying weight. Like the, the forearm is supporting some of your weight as you're leaning forward. So that causes even further stress up here. So. That's why I think it's happening. Uh, when I play professionally, I definitely did have this kind of forward right shoulder because I did like to have a lot of my arms on the table. And uh, about five, six, seven years into my career, um, I found out that I have actually aimed really well in this position, but I could only sustain it for a few months because it was causing so much stress. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna introduce Matt. Matt, again, he's a certified physical therapist. He's worked with other professional gaming teams. So I'm gonna hand over to Matt and he's gonna share some information on what we can do to prevent and relieve some of the stress. All right, sorry, just one more thing before I introduce you to Matt. I have to introduce you to this product. It's a posture brace. It's from Primate Movement. So I showed you guys this in my all-purpose stretching routine. Um, I'm not sponsored by these guys. However, I'll leave a link in the description box if you're interested in getting it. I do get a little bit of percentage, but I do use this product literally every single day, um, even when I play games. And what it does, it helps keep your posture in, in your shoulder in a nice balanced, um, you know, anatomically correct position. So although I am limited in my movement while I game, it's a sacrifice for me that's worth making because I'm not trying to go professional anymore. I'm more focused on my health. So this, even when I'm gaming, not gaming, when I'm walking around the house, I'm literally just using this every single day. So it's always keeping me in this healthy posture position. And when I don't use it and I play games, my shoulder does start creeping forward and I feel that pain or discomfort come back. So this is a great way to just keep everything locked in place solid. Um, I'm gonna switch to kind of side cam view here and I'll show you how I put it on real quick and how it works. So it's like um, backpack straps. So you put one shoulder in and you put the other shoulder in another arm and on the back here, there's these two straps. So what I'll do is I'll just pull these down and then wrap them around forward and then Velcro them on. So as I vel Velcro this front piece or front pieces, what I'll do is I'll readjust it by rolling the brace forward more and it gives me more room in the strap. 
to put these on. And I really lock it in place, lock it tight. I like it a little bit more firm. And now what it does is it physically allows me not to get in a forward uh, roll position. It you know, keeps the shoulders back, the posture straight, and I play games like this. And you can see how like my rear shoulder blades and shoulders are packed in a back uh, backwards position instead of rolled forward like this. I, I can't do this because the brace is uh, up here on the neck side. So I highly recommend this product. I think it's like 30 bucks. It's well worth it. Um, it's seriously prevented so much pain and discomfort for me personally. So if you guys are feeling, um, you know, neck pain, even from posture or this gaming arm pain, I highly, highly recommend it. So anyways, enough of me. Uh, let me introduce Matt. Hey guys. My name is Matt, and as Rambo said, I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I'm also an orthopedic clinical specialist, and for the past five years, I've been working with pro teams across multiple FPS esports. And today, I wanted to help you guys understand a little more about gaming shoulder, or what Rambo described, pain right over here. The main goal by the end of this video is that you guys understand a little more about why you're experiencing the pain and what you need to do to either manage or prevent the pain. So as Ron said, a lot of the times with this pain pattern, we see players sit with this rounded shoulder position, with this hunched mid back, as well as their right arm in this internally rotated position or the hand closer towards the center of your body. And when you're in this internally rotated position, the muscles at your shoulder, the rotator cuff, and the middle and lower trapezius muscles, which typically help with the movement of the mouse, especially for those who are moving more with their shoulder, are in a poor position to contract and that requires the muscles at your neck, the upper trapezius muscles, to overcompensate. So every time you lift and move your mouse, you are using these upper trap muscles when it's typically more evenly distributed when you have better posture. Okay, so what can you do about this? Well, number one, you should be sitting with proper posture. And two, there's going to be some exercises I'm going to help you go over to undo the stress of this poor posture position, but also help you maintain a better posture for longer periods of time so you're using the right muscles. All right, how do we have better posture? We need to sit a little more upright and we always start with our mid back because that allows our shoulder and our head to be positioned better. Secondly, you want to make sure your shoulders are tilted back just like that. And again, that allows us to properly use our rotator cuff muscles or our lower and middle trapezius instead of the upper trap, which again becomes overcompensated with that rounded and poor posture position. And the last thing you guys have to know is making sure your chin is tucked so that it's stacked well and nicely over your torso. So again, the three things, chest up, chin tucked, shoulders set back. So let's get to the exercise. The first exercise you're going to be doing is the pec stretch. And this is going to undo a lot of the stiffness that happens when you're in that rounded shoulder position. You're going to be using any wall and placing the front of your shoulder against the wall as shown and then rotating out until you feel it in your chest. You're going to hold each stretch for about 20 seconds and repeat two to three times. There's also a foam roller variant and you're gonna be lying longitudinally, so your spine is gonna be aligned on it as shown, your feet are supported, and you're just gonna be bringing your elbows in and out as shown, feeling the pec stretch as you bring your elbows down towards the ground. You're gonna be repeating that three sets of 12. The second exercise is a mid-back stretch you're gonna be doing against the wall. There's also gonna be a foam roller variant. What you're gonna do is stand in front of a wall you're gonna keep your back straight, tighten your abdomen, place your fists against the wall as shown with your elbows straight, and then press your chest down and in towards the wall to allow yourself to feel a stretch. This is what it looks like from the side view. You're gonna feel a stretch in your mid back as well as potentially in your lats. And if you tighten your abdominals, you should feel it more in your mid back. Here's the foam roller variant. All you're gonna be doing is lying on the foam roller perpendicular to your back right at the mid back and just rocking back into extension for about 30 repetitions. And you wanna to try to get more and more further back into extension to allow more of a stretch in your mid back. This next exercise is another one that targets your mid back but is my favorite for any upper back or shoulder injury in gaming. All you're gonna be doing is placing your body against the wall as shown and just rotating out like you're opening a book, repeating it for three sets of 10 on both sides. 
Make sure you're also following your hand with your head and keeping your right pelvis against the wall as shown. This way you're able to isolate your mid back through the rotation motion. This next exercise is called the TheraBand External Rotation and it's meant to mimic the type of shoulder movement that we perform while we're gaming. It's also designed to ensure that we maintain the proper posture while moving the mouse. So what you're going to be doing with the TheraBand is drawing up some tension, making sure you have proper posture, chest up, chin tuck, shoulders back, and then rotating outwards with your palms down. And you're going to repeat this for three sets of 10. This last exercise is just meant to help you provide some temporary relief if you do have some of that shoulder pain. It's called the upper trap stretch, where stretching or alleviating the muscle that you're using or overusing with gamer's shoulder. So all you're going to be doing is sitting with your chest up, tilting your ear to your shoulder, bring your hand around and pulling. You should feel it right at your upper trapezius, holding for 20 to 30 seconds and repeating three times on both sides. One more exercise I want to share with you guys is an exercise you can do while we're performing some aim training. This is what I call the aim bots exercise and you can repeat this three times for one minute each. Basically what you're going to be doing is loading up aim bots and maintaining the proper posture, chest up, chin tuck, shoulders back, and then training yourself to maintain the right posture over time. Again, what this will do is help you practice working into this better posture and getting used to the actual movement of aiming and working on your spray control and every aspect of your mechanics associated with playing the game. The last thing I wanna leave you guys with is helping you guys understand how to actually improve your posture over time. And that is to leverage or create some rules. This is using some behavioral science. Every single time you have a halftime or you wanna get up to drink some water, that's when you remind yourself to bring your chest up, shoulders back and chin tucked. And as you do that over time, it'll gradually improve or change your ability to sit in the right position when you play.